What's up guys, Chasing Lavery here with episode number 31 of The Journey and by popular viewer demand our contractors are now store force so we are going on a job hunt, let's see what's out there So I've had to turn your camera off so you can see what's going on with the job hunt I sorted it by nation or what's available and there are some interesting jobs going around the world right now uh, New Orleans Old Boys in Argentina would be a great get, but I don't think we're quite there. I think we're looking lower down. And uh, from that point of view, Gimnasia are the best bet probably in Argentina. Looking at uh, Brazil, I'd love to get ATG. They would be a great get because they used to be quite a big club, if memory serves. Uh, Huachi Pato in Chile would be great because I've never managed in Chile. I have no idea how I would pronounce JSNTHM Conion. Uh, all the time, but if we go to China, we go to China. Uh, Biscoff in Czech Republic, second division, would be very interesting. As would any of these jobs in in uh, Denmark. AB, of course, one of the bigger clubs in Denmark, and then Kurga have quite a history as well. Uh, in England, we've got obviously the mighty Swindon Town. They appeal to me. Worthing could be great. A trip to Sussex, Bromley would be good. Western Suit Mayor chance to build a dynasty in Somerset. Uh, old train number trip to Greater Manchester would appeal. Blackpool, I've got connections to Blackpool. And Tranmere, of course, third biggest team in Merseyside, would be a great get. We'd go to Finland, we'd go to Dinamo Dresden, a chance to rebuild an old giant of German football. In Japan, we have uh, Kitakishu and Sapporo. Uh, Moss are a good bet in Norway. So are Star. I believe Star used to be a really big club at one stage. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure, let's uh, let's bring up a little bit of history there, league history. They have been a top flight team in recent years, in the last 20 years. And they've been kind of what I dread. They're probably a money thing looking at their bank balance. But if we get a job at start, there's a chance to build something there that could be really interesting. We've also got options in Romania. We've got options from the top two divisions of Serbia. One in Slovakia, second division. Uh, three options in Slovenia, second league. A chance to go to Korea in Guchon. And then there are a couple of other options in Sweden, should we want. So what we're going to do, we're going to apply all there and get our name in the hat for all those jobs. And uh, I'll come back where I've got our first We don't want to go through all of the uh, all of the things. So uh, in terms of jobs that are insecure, I don't know if the jobs are insecure as well, because these could come up whilst we're job hunting. Uh, so these are the available jobs, obviously precarious jobs. Uh, there's one at Middlesbrough, but I don't think we're getting any of Middlesbrough, West Brom, or Burton. They're a bit too big for us. Wolfsburger in Austria are a possibility. Uh, University of Craiova in Romania are a possibility. Magdeburg could be interesting, but they're currently near the bottom of the Bundesliga. Uh, same with Oviedo, the boss of the Spanish second division. That will be a great little rebuild. I'd love Go Ahead Ego. Eagles. They've produced some great players over the years. Derry City, a chance to go to the Irish border. That could be good as well. A um, bunch of really good options in Malmo are there, Cadiz are there, and we get Hatafe as well. They're both bottom up the uh, top flight in Spain. La Liga, Valencia sitting in 15. I think we'd get the Roma job, although they are in danger of relegation in Serie A. So are Cagliari, which could be good. Angus, relegation canvas in League A. Uh, Santos are there, Club Brugge are there, go back to Belgium for that, there's a bunch of decent jobs going in Argentina's top flight. Uh, Dundee in Scotland, great, would be a great option. St. Gallen in Switzerland, a chance to rebuild St. Gallen would be nice too. So a bunch of good options there, even in the MLS, we've got DC United, my favourite American team, they could be a really good option for us. So could Karlsruhe in Germany and St. Pauli, two teams I'd love to do a rebuild. Uh, so, say you Pescara, of course, I do own a Pescara shirt. We could do a Pescara. Well, Prozinetsky is on the verge of being fired. So, that could be interesting. So, there are options out there. In terms of our current contract at Storforge, uh, we are look, three months, sorry, two months, a month and a half, six weeks. There were six weeks left on our deal. We're currently earning £1,200 a year. So, we're trying to make a bit more than that if we can. But we do have at least a small amount of uh, financial buffer in terms of making money because our contract with Benin is... Uh, so if I show me our contract with Benin, that's really interesting. We're on about £1,700 a week, so quick mass is 85 90000 a year. 
there's some good money there. So we, that's that's we've got money to play with. Anyway, let's go see who comes up offering us jobs. I'll be back in a second. If we don't get a job by the end of our contract here, I might just stay in Sweden. Who knows? Let's find out. So we've been offered our first job, and it is St. Albans City, um, which is not a bad offer. They're offering us 20, 22,500 pounds a year, which is just a casual 20% or 20 times pay rise, 2,000% pay rise. Uh, to a vaguely ish livable wage if we live in a house share somewhere. Uh, 12,000 the wage budget, 354k a year as a wage budget. And St Albans currently sit in 18th in the National League. Really, I don't have pictures on. Two seconds, let's put the pictures on. Let's come back as a human, shall we? There we go, as if by magic. Uh, right, so we look at the League table for the conference south the national league south there are 80 sorry 80 yeah are oh, some organs three points clear of the relegation zone and 10 points behind the uh playoffs with give or take what 31 games to play so plenty of time to turn that one around they were predicting in the season preview to finish 16th so it should be a low pressure job which is good the star player is uh, alex iwamene who's 20 years old and was released by southampton so it should be a decent after 52 league games for the club that's pretty strong and in terms of our key player zane to who was released by sheffield united at the beginning of this season is uh is the young player to watch so that's all right let's have a look at the whole score sicily players here i know uh, vangelos empo chonstiff can't say i know who he is but he's definitely getting an aim change if we go there he's played for everyone okay uh still getting an aim change if we go there so we have this is actually the only job we've been interviewed for i know edward giamfi i've managed edward giamfi before Formerly of Watford and uh, Milton Keynes Plastic Dons. So he's uh, he's a decent player. Otherwise, it's not a lot of players now I recognise the name of. So that's good. What we're going to do, I am going to, I don't have the inbox. I am going to delay that for a week. See if any other jobs come up. Because we've not interviewed for any. We're not losing anything by having a week to think about it. So we're going to have a week to think about it. Maybe we don't make a manage St Albans. Maybe we go somewhere else. You're going to find out quicker than I will. So it looked a little bit like we were going to go to St Albans. But A, Merge England is kind of, uh, we've done a lot of it. And B, this is a story, like a story. So, Gresford Aster Athletic are in the JD Kumarai North. They're currently 15th in the league. So in one, one place off the bottom, 11 points clear off bottom. But what makes what makes Gresford very interesting? Can I get rid of this? Will they let me prop that out of the way? Will um, they have a stadium called the Rock, which is actually literally there is a rock around this side. I think is a quarry. But also Gresford is in the suburbs of Wrexham, and uh, we've had a little bit of fun with Wrexham and Wrexham on the channel. But if we have a look, are they here? Affiliated, they should be, and if they're not, we'll get there. They are. Can we bring another team from Wrexham to prominence in world football? I think, even though the money is not as good, because we can afford to do it, because we've still got the Benin job paying us all that money a year, and 15000 a year part time is not that uh, stressful. I think we're going to go with this. If we have a look at their best players, we've got, uh, well, Alfie Perry, who is formerly of Hull and probably is decent. Uh, Kimani Hunter was a Walsall youngster, definitely got some potential. Casey Parrish, an ex Colchester youngster. And frankly, 75000 a year. Look at all their players are earning right now. Let's uh, bring all that together. I'm going to quick math this. So if we go, let's just do the top earners there. Say they're earning about four grand a week on average. 
nine people, 38,000 plus. We've got some budget to spend. And I like that. So, without any further ado, we're going to take over Gresford. Because, why on earth not? Okay, so, got eight month contract on the on the table. Can I get them to pay me a little cheeky chunky more? Probably not. Uh, but, let's give it a go and we'll see what happens. Uh, let us. Right, that's not Let's not ask for that much. That's a lot of money. Let's just go up to the next one up and see what they say, shall we? 60 and 7, fine. I think that's not too shallow doodles. Uh, let's go to 19 to 19.5. That's, that's more than we asked for last time. Let's not take the piss. There we go. £18,000 we've got ourselves a year. That's good money, especially in North Wales. You can buy everything for that in North Wales. And we get to say goodbye for the final time to our uh, to store force. So we've done well there, but now we move on. And tomorrow we are going to be Greston Manager, which is quite a big change. Bit of a change in weather, bit of a change in scenery. Here we go, here we are. We've joined Greston from Store Force, having uh, had our career started at the Young Reds, been to Sweden, now in Wales, not a language to learn, good stuff. Beautiful kits as well, that's what we like to see. What have we got to learn here? We're predicted to finish 8th and we're not doing that. Our fierce rivals are clay... Fierce, what? fierce rivals are clay welfare. Um, and they've won some trophies. So that's nice. There are trophies there that have been won. And we've of course got that relationship with Rex as well. And they've got their set up already for a young boys or a young red diamond. Which is tasty. We can bring back the diamond. Uh, otherwise, we're looking good. Our plan grow the reputation well within the budget. Be competitive in the cups. Don't get relegated. And hope for the very best, to be honest. Here's what we're going to try. I would like us to get promoted, though. We can start challenging for European football. Maybe build a bit of a nation. That could be a good plan. Uh, backroom staff meetings. Oh, I can leave that. Never. Beautiful. Excellent. All right, let's get this done. Here we are, managing Gresford. Good times, good times already, right? Let's look at, have a little look around properly. Now we can see stuff, playing time expectations. These guys want to play some football, good stuff. So forces wise, wow, well, we've got 35 season ticket holders. Big time, that's big time. We went out four in store force. Right, let's look at all the important players. Currently unhappy, you would like more playing time. Well, that's achievable. I'm okay with that. Leo Wood wants a new contract. Do we want to give Leo Wood a new contract? Apparently we can't even look at Leo Wood without clicking on him. I think we'll have a think about that. He came through a sunny oh, he's, he is actually our top scorer. I remember looking at him. So we'll have a look, see if we can give him a new contract because he is currently the leading scorer of the club. And uh, well, what does he currently make? Let's have a little look at what he is, his current That's how we get. Uh, let's give him a contract. A 6k a week, he's taking it. Happy days. All right, money. Money is spent. Uh, I'm not going to change anything captain wise. That's probably fair. Uh, in fact, he wants me to change captain. Where is this Casey? What's his face? Oh, my word. Okay, yeah, let's do that. That's wise. We'll just go with that. That'll be fine. If Casey Parrish gets unhappy, Casey Parrish gets unhappy. We've got £13,000 per year to spend on wages. And financially, we're not screwed yet. We will be by the time I'm done. Uh, we're going to lose some money, so we do actually have to make some trimmings and some changes or some whatnots. That's fine. Relax. We'll get this done. Okay, so, first game is in three days. I've got time to have a fiddle with this squad, making it a bit better. That's nice. Uh, Alfie Perry is our best player. Anyone here standing out? Malaysia Asamoa. Looks like a tasty little winner, doesn't he? He looks all right. We might... We won't make him work for us. That's good. Okay. Uh, Charlie Williams, formerly of Portsmouth. Yeah. Yeah, he'll do for this level. I feel like we can get some better players, but he'll do for this level. And uh, Mackenzie, I said, I'm already feeling wingers. I feel like wingers could be a thing here. And Mackenzie Heaney has played for everyone in the Northeast. So perhaps he's also a good option on the left wing. All right. There's something to build on here. We like that. Okay. 
I'm going to go have a look through, see what actually exists here, and then we'll come back on Thursday for our first game in charge. These guys, by the way, who have clearly got no hope of ever being anything, one of them is actually our captain, but that's fine, will say goodbye because they're all rubbish. And in fact, these guys here, because they're also all rubbish, we'll say goodbye to them. That would be nice. And we'll have a little look, check with our youth team. But anyone who's not worth having, we're going to get rid of. Just to try and save a few quid. So, oh, that's a tasty youth team for this battle. All right. Well, those guys can stay. I don't, we won't need to spend any money. We might be okay. Let's find out. Let's click forward and we'll have a look at the squad as it stands with those uh, with those players said goodbye to. Everyone's happy. Well, no one's happy. They've all been sacked. <laughs> Everyone's gone. Uh, and we'll have a look at this now. And I think that's actually a decent squad. We probably only need one or two players in there because we can blood all these youngsters. And we're laughing. Well, we could use probably another... We're okay for defenders. We're good in the defensive department probably use some someone oh we'll find out we'll find out next episode that's what we'll do because this episode otherwise will have gone on forever right thanks guys thank you for watching i uh, shall see you on thursday for more of the journey where we will take charge of Gresta for the first time and hopefully start off with a bang in the meantime though i have been chasing lately thank you for watching and i shall see you all very soon stay safe and uh have a good one